We can use our only bomb to punch through the floor, but I don't know how wise that is. Certain things about how this cave is constructed have me suspicious. But we can totally bomb through the floor here, is the thing. So let's give that a shot. Watch, I probably need that bomb to open the ash grave. The idol is behind the iron door. I am too weak to go on. The giant yeti has stolen my key. Okay, so the yeti has the key. Well, that's good to know. Well, and there's the yeti. Yeah, he's actually like no threat at all here. There's not even any ice blocks for him to drop on us. That was more of a threat than the Yeti King. I see exits down below those doors. Or those pits. Alright. going when I thought it would. The cooldown had not quite ended by the time I started that first jump. There we go. Ah, oh, really? Come on, man. This is rudimentary stuff. Working with smash drifts. Also, just use the bomb to get past the locked door in the first place. But how are we supposed to get through the rest of this anyway? So it looks like we're supposed to get to one of those three exits there. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped out of this pit. <laughs> I'm just like trying to plot my way forward here. It's hard to tell what exactly to do. Especially since the intended path seems to be broken. bomb to get down in there. But how will we get across? I guess we could lure the smash trap down and then back up and jump off of it. Hmm. Yeah, he has the key. We're gonna use the bomb to get through here anyway. I guess it's probably worth trying it over here. Hmm. <sighs> Out of the way. Bye, Thwong. Bye bye. Now we can lure, lure this guy here. And then we lure him down here. And now we can lure it back up and hopefully jump off it. Uh, or not. <laughs> Ow. I want to see what's through the doors. They at least had the wisdom to know I couldn't bomb through this whole thing with one bomb. Why did I do that? I guess it doesn't really matter if I put the bomb right here. Okay. Hmm, actually. 
Oh no, it was too fast. Can't quite get past a smash trap like that. Uh, rough long. They were too quick. To be fair, I'm not super familiar with the properties of Thlomps because you only see them in custom levels. And now I know. They're a little too fast for stuff like that. Ow! space there. And then there. And now I should be able to lure it over. And, um, I can't quite jump on from there. That didn't quite work. I need to wait a little bit longer. I want to get it level with the... I want this thing to stop it so that... such that it uh, is positioned, like, right next to me. Like that. Yes. Get away with that. No, I don't squash my corpse. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'd be fine doing this the regular way if it seemed possible, but it doesn't. Like, you get over there and there's an impossible jump. That's like what they expect you to do. You can't get up to that checkpoint from there. Like what? What is supposed to happen there? Hmm. It would be nice to get that checkpoint, I guess. It would put us a little closer to where we're supposed to be. Oh, but if I get the checkpoint, I'm not going to be able to um, climb back out of there, I don't think. Actually, yeah, there's like no way out of this pit in the first place. It feels like something's missing here, like seriously. What are you supposed to do? Oh hey, that's a much easier way of getting to the thwomp where I want it to be. Or not the thwomp, it's the smash trap. Oh boy, man, I can't reach it now. Yeah, now that the fifth thing is positioned against the ceiling, I can put that guy there. Yes! Um... Oh, I didn't think that through. So that's just gonna go back up. Oh, what suck. See, I wanna get it over there so I can jump off of it and over. You get it, don't you? It'll work. It'll work. Just gotta manage it very carefully. Manage it very carefully. <laughs> I guess you could say that arrow trap is hit or miss. it takes those things to activate. It always just seems to catch you last, but it's just always just a couple seconds, well not a couple seconds, like a couple milliseconds longer than I expect. It's not a long cooldown. In fact, it might even be a randomized cooldown, given that it's Spelunky, and Spelunky loves its semi-random elements. Ah, oh, criminy. If I 
but hey, we are at least... We have a, a path to victory here, it feels like we do. Something tells me the gold path is probably a trap. Like, that just seems too obvious. Come on. Come on down, you. Come on. Go, go, go. Alright. I'm gonna let you all the way up first. Go all the way up. Okay, it goes over there. One and above them. See? I always... I needed to wait just a moment longer. Traps because it took up with arrow traps in the beginning, too. Sure. Wait, 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 wait. Go down. Yeah. Wait, I needed to be on the other side of you. Dang it. Perfect. soon! Of course, if you jump too late, you're also just straight up dead. Ugh, oh, got cornered. And I don't mean, like, in the traditional sense of being cornered. I mean, I bumped the corner. Maybe the corner bumped me. Trap, I appreciate it. Oh, come on, man. We haven't beaten a single level of it, you know that? Because the scent was broken, and all smiles is bad. And this level is also bad for some reason. I would describe it as bad. It doesn't seem well thought out. Like, here's the theory of how the level will work, and then here's the implementation, and it's just like... See? I'm always just a moment too early! Unfortunately, I just can't seem to think of a better way of handling that. Because we need to move it over to the right. Or, well, no, we need to move it over to the left, and that means lowering it from the left, and there is very little space to do that. Ah, be quicker. time I get it, of course, the freaking corner gets me. A thought occurs. This arrow. I could, theoretically, use it to not have to rely on that trap. Oh, I just blew up my arrow. Alright, uh, is it gonna get destroyed or just... Oh, no, I got destroyed. Alright, well, uh, let's keep that in mind for next time, then. Because if I can throw the arrow hard enough at that wall, it can let me ascend. Hey, we made it anyway. So which way? Huh, <sighs> yeah, gold seems like a really obvious trap. I'm not so sure about metal. Let's go down the middle. Where will we end up? Has your temple completed? Welcome. The Yeti Temple is the guardhouse. 
to guard the real temple. And the real temple guards the idol. Oh, sounds like we might have chosen correctly. So long. Oh, dang it, I just saw that stupid arrow trap. I guess I'm gonna need to throw this Yeti in there to make it work. Yeah, we're going for it. There you go, take that. Yeti Temple, we're here. Ow. Hey, yeah, there's a lady. She can double my HP. Can't wait for him to stop jumping. Very jump happy. Okay. This is the proper way to deal with Yeti. Just bash them into each other. Hello, lady. We're finally making some progress in this episode. Ladder to the treasury. I see a smash trap up there. I also see this is a gold brick and a button. It's a diamond here. Is there any reason to push this guy in here? I don't know if it'll get destroyed when it sinks all the way in since it's only one tile of lava. Yeah, no, it stops. Okay. That could be useful information, but what happens when we push this button? This gold brick. Aha! Lowered that thing. Ow! What? 